All right, my friends, so here we are, 1.2. Now we're gonna spend some time naming our site, getting things set up. So let's start in the upper left-hand corner. We have here the site document name. If I put my mouse cursor there, I can get that little hover. Now I'm the only one that's gonna see this or you as a creator, this is not something that, that's public. And so you can call it whatever. Um, I'm just gonna call this uh, Google Site PD. Demo site so I know what it is. Now here, this right below it where it talks about the site name page, you can see whatever I typed up here gets copied over. But I could rename that if I wanted it to be something else. So this is seen by me. This is seen by whoever has access to your site. Your site doesn't have to be public and we'll talk about that here in just a minute. So I can name this whatever and as soon as I have more than one page, this will show up in all the pages. I'm going to keep it the same for right now because that's what it is, but you could change that if you wish. And then this is the name of this particular page. And so in a little bit, we're going to be adding some more pages when we get into this menu bar. But for now, this is the home page, the main page that people are going to go to when they land on your quote unquote home page. So um, I could just say whatever I want it to be. I'm just going to say welcome. All right. Now, one of the things that's going to be very important early on for you to realize is that we need to make sure that our site is saving. So we have our site document name. This is the name of the website. This is the name of the page. Important stuff as we go and continue to lay this stuff out. So we can see here that everything was saved. It says all changes saved in the drive. So it's just like a Google Doc or Slack. This work is going to be saved. So if I were to click this little site icon, it's going to take me back to the main sites.google.com page where all my websites are. So that's why it's a helpful feature for you to know. And if I were to reopen my website that we just created, you're going to see that those names now are there. I haven't had to hit the publish button. I haven't had to hit save. It's just there. It is important though that you do check, just make sure that that's been saved as you do your work, just like we do other stuff, because you can always go back and that kind of yes. thing. At this point is we're gonna now move into adding some images and logos and things like that. So we've created it and we've named it. So we're off to a good start. Let's uh, continue on to 1.3.